In this lesson, we'll discover how to use the ARCHICAD railing tool. This incredibly flexible tool allows you to create any kind of railings that can be associated with other virtual building elements, such as stairs, slabs, meshes, roofs, or walls. This means that the placed railings can follow the changes of the relevant element geometry. Activate the railing tool and open its settings dialog. If you would like to skip to the next step, you can apply the stair railing favorite from the Lesson 18 Favorites folder. Like the stair, the railing tool is a hierarchical element, which includes sub-elements, posts, rails, and or panels. We'll browse through all these components and set them manually. You can switch among different hierarchy levels using the list on the left of the dialog, or by simply clicking the element in the Pattern Editor window, which is available at the top of the Railing Settings dialog. From the left hierarchy list, select the Railing level. Go to the Geometry and Positioning panel and check the following settings. Bottom offset to Home Story, 0. Home Story, 1 Gallery. Node and Railing Associativity, Associative. Segment Associativity, Associative. In the Floor Plan Symbol Layouts panel, select Show On, All Relevant Stories. In the Classification and Properties panel, set the Non-Load Bearing and Interior tags. Select the Segment Hierarchy level and go to the Segment Settings panel. Make sure that the railing segment height is 1000, reference line position is right, and the reference line offset value is 50. In the Segment Pattern Settings panel, click on the Equally Distribute Pattern button and type 1200. Then check the Set Pattern Length to Number of Treads checkbox and set the number of treads to 4. This way, the railings posts will be placed on every fourth stair tread. Go to the top rail hierarchy level. On the Style and Dimensions page of the top rail component settings panel, choose the steel stainless building material. Switch to the handrails hierarchy level and push the minus button in the upper right corner of the dialog to delete the handrail component. On the Rails Hierarchy level, use the Style and Dimensions page of the Rail Component Settings panel to set the following parameters. Rail Shape, Round. Profile Height and Profile Width, 30. Building Material, Steel, Stainless. Go to the Inner Posts level, Inner Post Component Settings panel. Style and Dimensions page. Select Round Post Shape. Set Profile Height and Profile Width to 30. Apply the Steel Stainless Building Material and make sure that the Fixing checkbox is not checked. Select the Baluster Hierarchy level and remove Baluster Components by clicking on the Minus button. Then go to the Panel's Hierarchy level Push the plus button and click between the two left posts in the Pattern Editor window. In the Panel Settings dialog, type 70 in the Panel Top field. Go to the Panel Component Settings panel and on the Style and Dimensions page, set the number of fixings, top bottom side, to zero. This way, the number of fixings, right left side, will automatically be set to two. Type 8 in the Panel's Thickness field, 20 in the Overlap, and 50 in the Fixing Overlap fields. Then, switch to the Fixing Settings page and set the left and right offset correction values to 10. On the 3D Representation page, Choose the Steel Stainless Building Material for Fixing Elements.
Check the override panel surface checkbox and apply the glass blue surface. Go to the node hierarchy level and set the ending node offset to 100 millimeters. Activate the post hierarchy level and in the post component settings panel set the same parameters as you did for the inner posts. Post shape, round. Profile height and profile width, 30. Building material, steel stainless. Finally, switch to the ends level and choose the top rail component from the drop down menu. Set the first extension subtraction parameter to 50 and click OK to apply all the settings. Now hold down the space key and click on the right side of the stair flight to create the associated railing element. Railing geometry is based on its reference line, meaning that we can modify this line to add new nodes and segments. Select the railing, click on its last node, and push the Continue Railing button in the pet palette. Move the cursor downwards and create the new 100mm length railing segment. With the Shift key pressed, hover the cursor over the corner of the slab hole, type D100 plus and hit Enter. Move the cursor over the internal surface of the external wall, and double-click to finish the railing modification. The end of the railing is too short, so let's change its settings. With the railing selected, push the Edit button to enter the Edit Railing mode. This mode allows you to modify individual sub-elements of a selected railing. Right-click the Segments and Nodes command in the Edit Mode display palette to show only segments and nodes. Select the last reference line segment, click on its last node, and push the Settings button info in the info box. In the Railing Node Selection Settings dialog, in the Ending Node Offset field, type 50, and click OK. Select the last two railing segments, and using the info box, change their reference line position to center. In the Edit Mode Display Palette, select the Exit Edit Mode command to apply changes and return to Normal Mode. Then deselect the railing. Now, let's create one more railing for the gallery slab. This railing will have the same settings except for the floor plan display layout and node position, as we should offset the first post element by 50 millimeters from the external wall. Open the Railing Default Settings dialog and select the Railing Hierarchy level. On the Floor Plan Symbol Layouts page, set Show On, Home Story Only. Go to the Node Hierarchy level and set the Ending Node Offset value to 50. This way, the first post element will be offset by 50 millimeters from the external wall. Click OK. Click in the intersection point of the gallery slab edge with the left external wall's plaster skin. Move the cursor to the intersection point of the gallery slab edge with the opposite wall plaster skin and double-click to finish the operation. 